House. So this was a ratcheting up of a, an attack on Michael Cohen you would expect on Al Capone. Turns out it was not wiretapping. It was called a pen register, which means they just log his phone calls. So they had to come out with this correction, NBC did. They said earlier today, NBC News, keep in mind this was four hours after, the, after they broke that original false story. Yep. And this reporter said that Michael Cohen's phone lines were wiretapped. Three senior U.S. officials now dispute that, saying the monitoring was limited to a log of calls, a pen register, not a wiretap of Cohen's lines. We will continue to report. That's right. There is a big, big difference. And so, uh, obviously, that was very embarrassing. But then uh, one of the reporters who worked on the story came out and said, look, we were citing two very reliable sources who have been accurate in the past. So, in other words, don't blame NBC. That's what they're saying. All right, Fleischer had this to say about how it all unfolded so quickly yesterday in the effort to get Trump and anybody around him. The whole velocity and direction of the press is to blame Donald Trump for everything. And that's been a constant, Laura. It's been since he became a candidate, and it's accelerated since he became president. So when NBC hears about something like this, and they really haven't explained how and why they got it wrong, they just run with it, and then everybody else wants to run with it, too. It, it reminds me still to this day, Laura, CNN, MSNBC, and CBS have never explained how they put a story on the air saying multiple sources read a memo saying that Donald Trump Jr. had advanced notice of the WikiLeaks. Now, they had to retract that because the person reading the memo got a date wrong and the notice was after the WikiLeaks took, was aired. But they never explained how they possibly could have all had multiple sources getting that story wrong because the threshold is so low for anti-Trump stories. And it's hurting journalism. It's one of the reasons America is splitting into two. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Standards. I mean, when's the last time you saw a headline that they had to retract it said uh, uh, Donald Trump exonerated from in the Mellow probe about the announcement about to happen? It's always on the negative. It's always against. Uh, it's always pro the investigation right. and against They're the upset. Trump administration. He's creating so many jobs. Right. Yeah, right. They're, yeah. they're really mad. Well, Michael Avenatti, who is uh, Stephanie Clifford's lawyer, Stormy Daniels' lawyer. Yeah, he he said uh, before this was uh, released that the wiretap was a fact. He said, I'm not speculating, it is a fact. And what he believed was investigators got information from the wiretap that Mr. Cohen was about to destroy evidence. And so that's why they swooped in and did the raids. Of course, that was all wrong as well in the rush uh, right. to get out some bad Trump news that right. so was not accurate. Rudy told the Daily Beast, you can't wiretap a lawyer. You certainly can't wiretap his client. He's not involved in the investigation. I don't think the story is going to turn out to be true. Well, after about yeah, four hours, so it breaks at one. It took until five, I believe, 525 for there to be a clarification on Chuck Todd show on NBC when Michael Winter, I think his name is Michael Winter, they're outside and goes, okay, we have sources, but it turns out they're just monitoring. By the way, as the judge Joe will tell you, when it comes to the NSA, they monitor. I wonder if they could blow out transcripts at any moment, and I just hope people are not doing that about the NSA. what's going on. Well, yeah, yeah, I well, hope not. The president has not tweeted about this. Last thing he tweeted about was National Day of Prayer, but this is why the whole phrase fake news came about, because the president, he's able, the, many people complain about his, his tweeting, but that's his way of getting the story correct in his opinion. Right. Now let's talk. Rely on